Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Libro Sun, Libro Moon and Libro Rising monthly tarot reading for January 2019 <clears throat> and while I'm doing the shuffling of the cards once again I want to remind you that that will be a general reading for Libra star sign therefore it's going to resonate differently with uh, every single different Libra, uh, Libra in this world excuse me so for that reason uh, in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but uh, for best results you also have to help it and to make sense of them and to align them to your personal re uh, situation now if you want your personal situation to be uh, analyzed just like I'm doing for the examples I'm giving in this video uh, then that is a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricing and uh, by the end of December uh, yeah. by the end of the next week by the way that, that is the prices of uh, the 20 and the 30 minutes star reading with me are uh, with reduced costs so that being said, these are the five cards, the layout for your month, the general cards, the spread also is going to be an enhanced one, which means that we are going to pull additional cards uh, per position. And for what it seems, <clears throat> just overall, uh, just for, for, from a, uh, you know, naked eye or an overlook of those cards, uh, this month is going to be for you Libras a... Um, a month where you're going to realize that you know performing to your maximum not always kind of pay off to its maximum extent so it's more like uh, um, readopting a position here where you should uh, start you know investing just as much as uh, you're getting out of it so it's not the situation will not going to be like uh, as much as you invest the more you're gonna get from it but there is look at it that way there is a limited limited benefits that you can take off from that particular uh, enterprise or an undertaking like a relationship or career I no matter how much more you uh, kind of invest into it it is again that the benefit is limited and uh, basically um, as you are adding more and more performance upon your behalf you are just wasting it so this is the overlook generally of the month um, now we are going deeply into every single position so the first position here with the Hierophant card that is going to be the topic of your month and the Hierophant has a catalyst of the Knight of Pentacles <clears throat> and uh, the cards are a little bit glossy guys maybe the focus is a little bit off here and there but I do apologize for that next time I'm going to pick different cards so what we do have here is that you are going to sort out a little bit uh, <clears throat> more more you, you are going to make more structured your performance should I say uh, that way uh, apart from the being a chaotic in the past so look at it that way you're trying to cope with many fronts at once uh, either career or in relationship wise and in months of uh, January the coping is going to be narrowed into only one singular direction so you can expect that things are going to abate into the sense of craziness so you will not going to experience that dynamic routine that you have experiencing until this very moment shenanigans are going to drop off there won't be any bullshit around that you have to deal with and etc etc what we look here at it's more like channeling and it's more like a uh, <clears throat> straighting to one toward one specific direction and for many of you who were lost back in the past you know and didn't know what you have to do didn't know what path you should take and etc etc month of january is going to be a month where this is going to become much more clearer for you so you will know kind of what kind of direction you should straight forward to and what you should kind of aim for yourself if you also don't know what should be your next destination these cards here are pointing that the more you dive into the month of January, the more you are going to become to the realization that <clears throat> being scattered around 
are on a multiple front and scampering yourself among those fronts it is not the best uh, the best strategy you can take so even though you may uh, even though you may take you may want to take advantage of any multiple opportunities here only one can be taken truly under your wings and only one can be exhausted if I may express myself that way fully and therefore you should kind of like dive more profoundly into this um, into this specific uh, undertaking so just to give you an example here uh, <clears throat> If we follow career path, you know, and you may work upon multiple, multiple projects to a point where you're just burning out and you cannot give an, an appropriate attitude or appropriate attention to all of those projects here into months of January, you are going to narrow those projects to maybe a couple or just a single one of them to, to which you will be able to give your full devotion here, systemize your plan and of course, you know, end up succeeding with this um, with this project the next card it is the seven of pentacles which is the intentions you Libra should adopt throughout this uh, particular month followed with the true with the tree of cups and it is what I said at the start you know you are to realize that you know the benefits are kind of capped and you cannot exceed after this cup is reached therefore uh, there will be a waste of resources you even um, I don't know how to say it in English guys here I'm sorry but it will be a waste of resources if you try to improve your performance into that direction so what these cards here are pointing is that <clears throat> you should very carefully uh, involve yourself and participate into events and you should go only for those kind of events which there is something in them for you. I mean, you shouldn't do anything from generosity for that matter. That is because the Tree of Cups, when it comes to the grand scheme of things, it's all, always accompanied with, uh, with improvement, either cumulative one or singular one. It is always accompanied with improvement, along with the Seven of Pentacles here, which actually strengthens this uh, particular combination, points that you need to... Um, you need to look for those specific undertakings into your career or into your relationship that there is a that there is a benefit for you in generally and you should not kind of involve or contribute yourself into those kind of projects that actually there is nothing in it for you and I know that it sounds kind of like very simple you know I mean you may think about you know what this dude is talking about here of course I'm going to do things that benefits me but that's not always the case just to give you an example here, a colleague of yours may ask you to help them and this help may devour most of your time but depriving you from putting more attention into this specific fulcrum we talked about over here and that will severely hurt and uh, in the, um, in incapacitate um, your ability to be successful at the end of the month so if there is nothing in it for you that way said you should not pay much attention into it and you should not kind of like invest yourself in it whatever that thing is same goes into your relationship you may be uh, asked to make a big compromise and big deal you know when you make a compromise that should be returned from the other side otherwise you are the one who loses so you need to start doing things that only benefits you no charity work throughout the month of January on top of that these cards here are pointing that should you invest yourself more into a collective experiences like working in team you know or like <clears throat> sharing burdens and responsibilities into your relationship as well sharing I mean not taking them beneath your wing all of them then it does look like that um, the results will not be delayed and you can start experiencing more emotional satisfaction which means that you will start feeling that you are on the right path here and if we're reading these cards on a very superficial level well these are pointing that a major event is awaiting you in your social circle now going forward with the challenges which are causing predicaments we do have the queen of pentacles here with the two of swords so basically this is a woman that doesn't know doesn't have 
have a clue what she's doing here. Now she's frantically trying to persevere or rather like to consolidate, uh, to, um, it's not consolidate, but let's say to sustain he, uh, her um, environment and her blessings, if I may express myself that way. Just to give you an example here, that, that could be a very accurate example for many of you. Let's say that you uh, here are finding being better into a different job and you are trying to leave your job and that could be your boss not allowing you to... to um, to walk away from your job you know and they frantically are trying to make a predicament for you in order to leave your job and etc etc so this this here for the month of uh, January for you Libras it is a, a person who does not want to lose you I, but the, the thing is or does not want to lose you as an asset that may not be an, an emotional uh, emotional attachment here it could be completely professional attachment but again they don't want to lose you as an asset and they don't know what to do how accurately to approach the situation so you can part ways in good terms or so they can uh, present you something for you to worth your while in order to stay it that uh, because i'm in a fairly low standard country i'm living in a fairly low standard country it is uh, common here that the salaries are very i'm just giving an example all right it is common here that the salaries are very it's, they are quite beneath what the people worth all right and uh, if that is someone in that in that kind of a situation that could be your boss trying to keep you in using stipulations and addendums into your contract instead of simply saying look man i'm just gonna raise your salary that is just for example because you need to know that that woman here uh, or that person they're not very good with parting with resources so the very less the the very last thing that they are going to try is to raise your benefits they will try everything else before that you know like threatening you and like pulling strings like pu pulling connections as well and etc etc trying to twist the truth as well making you feel uh, that you will not go gonna be able to make it without them and etc etc and at the end if you are so valuable asset then they are going to propose you for example bigger salary or if this is a, a, a relationship here they're going to propose you to uh, talk talk about new terms into the relationship and etc etc the thing is that they are feeling comfortable with the situation as it is but as we said here at the start you are narrowing down the situation you now are going to know what is most beneficial for you knowing that even you are performing above the average uh, this above it is not repaid so you are narrowing down your performance either career wise or relationship wise so that can serve in most beneficial way for you <clears throat> and uh, now another <clears throat> another example is popping in my head you know and that is very common as well into into, into a business uh, field so you are hired let's say as a uh, as an engineer all right but along the way, uh, and as you are starting your job, you have to clean up your desk, you know, sometimes your boss asks you to do something else than being an engineer and etc, etc. That is everywhere, you know. But, uh, and this reading may point that you are to realize that this actually doesn't pay off in either way. So you just sit there, make your projects, and you are not a cleaner to clean your desk. They should have, you know, a cleaning personnel in order to clean up your desk after you are done and etc etc so something like this and, and this person as i said they're very comfortable at the situation that it is before the month of january but as you are again realizing that you are just wasting your time in in uh in the previous established uh, how can i place it in, in in the previous established rules if i may express myself that way or conditions is the better word here to be used uh, and you are start narrowing down your capacities that will make them uncomfortable that will make them frantic that will make them as well reckless and you have to be careful with them the guidance here with the eight of cups followed with the magician card well that guidance literally tells you that you have to search your happiness somewhere else right 
uh, these cards here are pointing that you need a severe change because uh, as the magician takes part of the eight of cups it does point that you are the more the month goes further the more you are going to realize that you're if not anything else your qualities are not appreciated your qualities are not capitalized on correctly especially if we're talking about work here in generally you can do so much more but no one is really paying you for that more or no one is really asking you to do it because this job cannot allow you to unfold as much as you can and uh, the eight of cups with the magician in that specific um, standpoint here it does point that you need to start how can I place it? Look at it. Look at your uh, look at your situation from a very different perspective here. Like yeah, right now in the month of January, you may you may not be in a situation to leave, all right, and to seek your happiness somewhere else. But that should be a, a thought that lingers in your mind. And as soon as the uh, conditions are correct for you to leave or to just change jobs, change relationships, you know, or walk away from your home or from your parents, it does depend what your situation here is. Uh, <clears throat> you got to do it because all this that we do have here, the reason for that it is described with the magician and the eight of, uh, eight of cups and all that is about maintaining or improving your personal sovereignty and independence so all this process is about knowing your true worth I know working for something that it is not paid all right that could go either way relationship or career and in the same time uh, <clears throat> opting for a more personal independence and personal sovereignty because in relationship uh, that could be a, a very emotionally heavy reading now for example you know you're finding out that uh, your investments of love it's it's basically not repaid so you don't see the same investment from the other side and uh, then you have to narrow your situation down I mean you cannot always take the heavy chores into one relationship I mean the other person also needs to do it in case you are in relationship and a frantic person here could be your boyfriend or your girlfriend knowing that things are changing seeing that they cannot exploit you emotionally anymore becoming frantic here becoming reckless um, being prone to outbursts and etc etc and at the end what we do have that will be the the uh, high priestess with the uh, knight of wands not a high priestess but the empress excuse me guys with the knight of wands so these cards at the end are pointing to a systemizing of a, a solid plan for moving on forward. So it does look like <clears throat> that the whole process, it will be near completion, but it is not completed yet. At the end of month of January here, what we are seeing, it's exploring options available, exploring opportunities, like exploring opportunities, how to develop your relationship furthermore now as the new world order is taking place and your partner is kind of, seeing that they cannot any longer take advantage of your emotional um, of your emotional attachment or if we're talking about career that could be a plan uh, for your next job or what can be your next job in order to unfold your true potential and being paid for right because one thing is to unfold your true potential another thing is to be to be accurately paid for so it does look like that you are to make a very big progress toward um, being valued enough throughout the months of January you now in and at the end it does look like that you will find the correct formula for yourself Libras it is just I'm not saying here that it's going to be very easy to do so that's not going to be a fairy tale it's not going to be a celluloid path for you moving on forward probably you're going to face a lot of predicaments uh, along the way because uh, always predicament follows as a change is executed and that change can and should happen consciously okay so sitting down hoping that things are going to change on their own accord that's not going to happen you have to be the one who executed through narrowing down your responsibilities and doing only those who you signed for all right not everything that is told you to uh, for you to do but only those whom you are signed for 
and after that you are going to find that you have quite a lot of spare time and not only that but as well you will start planning big future for yourself of where exactly you are going to be valued the most so that being said Libras this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for the month of January 2019 I hope you enjoyed and you liked it guys and once again this was a general reading for Libra star sign and uh, Therefore, this reading is going to resonate differently and on a different level with every single different Libra in this world. So, I did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but to be most accurately, the, this reading to be most accurately, you have to help it and uh, make sense of, of these explanations according to your situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, just like I did for the examples in this video, that is a subject of personal reading and for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Right, signing out now. See you next time. Bye.